Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be testing out some new brushes today. I'm a little late on this bandwagon but better late than never. Um, today we're going to be trying out the new Real Technique face brushes. So these are like the what do you call these kind of brushes? I guess like like the Artiste brushes. Like do you guys remember when Artiste first came out with the brushes and they were like $200 for just one brush. So since then like every brand has came out with their own kind of Artiste knockoff kind of brand. I mean kind of brush. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't understand why I can never talk when I turn the camera on. These are the brushes right here. So I have the face brush, the cheek brush, the contour brush, and the eyeshadow brush. Um, I don't know if there's more but these are all I could find in Ulta. And Real Techniques, if you guys don't know, it's by Sam and Nick. They are two girls and I'm pretty sure they had, um, well, two ladies, I should say. And they used to have a YouTube channel. They might still have it, I don't know, but that's where they pretty much came from. Then they developed the brand Real Techniques and it's like all makeup brushes and sponges. So, a little history if you guys didn't know that. So yeah, if you guys want to see me do my full face makeup with these makeup brushes, then just keep on watching the video. We have all the brushes out of the packaging and they feel super super dense and like really kind of heavy and like definitely like expensive I feel like they feel really really good. A few videos back I did the Bare Minerals foundation review and I had like a pink kind of smoky eye. It was like an not necessarily pink maybe like a pinky burgundy type of eyeshadow look where it was just like smoked out and it looked like one color so I saw someone on there was saying that they really wanted to know how I did that and like how did I do my eyeshadow for that video and I was explaining to her how it was like my go-to look or whatever so I felt like instead of doing a full video on it because it's so simple I would just do it here you know what I mean so that is an up close of the brush as you can see it's super super tiny but it's cute and I don't know I'm kind of feeling the packaging it's so just gonna go into the shade right here which is love letter from the ABH Modern Renaissance palette and I'm just tapping the eyeshadow on here so just using circular motions Do y'all see that? That's like super blended out. Like I wasn't expecting much from this brush because it's kind of awkward for me to hold. But it really is like blending out the eyeshadow. I feel like it's like perfect for this look. Like whoa. I might have spoke too soon. Um, the right eye was blending very well. This eye is taking me a long time. It could be because I'm right handed. So it's just kind of like messing me up because I'm kind of awkward. But um, this side is taking a little bit longer to blend out than the other side. On to foundation, my favorite part. Um, we're gonna be doing the, uh, what is this? The Huda Beauty um, Faux Filter Foundation. I'm using the shade Gingerbread um, 430 in. So I really do like this foundation. I put this in my Best of Beauty 2017. This is an awesome foundation. I love it so much and we're going to be using this brush right here which is the all over face brush this is the really big one it says you can use it for like your body and neck area as well i'm just going to apply it directly on the brush so with this foundation i usually use about two pumps so hopefully i can use about the same with this brush this is a full coverage foundation so this should be just enough only thing that's like difficult with these kind of brushes is just like getting around your brows but some people don't do their brows first so that wouldn't be a problem for you but for me I always do my brows or my eye makeup beforehand so these can kind of get a little difficult that's one side done I feel like it looks pretty good um, this brush does a good job of kind of keeping the product on your face and not really um, taking away the coverage so I do like that. So let's go in for another pump. Overall I feel like it blended out pretty well. It's just kind of hard to get in like small areas and then like around my eyebrows. 
but it looks really good on the skin. I went ahead and highlighted with the Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer. This one is in the medium light warm. Um, they don't have a highlight brush. I don't think. I didn't see one. Um, so this one is for contour. So we're going to use this today. I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in Espresso. This probably looks crazy, but I like to apply a lot of contour for some reason. It's just how I like it. This type of brush that it's not going to soak up any product. So, like, whatever amount of product you apply that's going to stay on your face. My bad. So, let me take this foundation brush and blend that out. There we go. For this side, we're going to take a little bit. <laughs> That was a little bit better. Regardless of what brush I use for contour, I always take my foundation brush and just go over it just to make it look a little bit more natural. I'm going to be setting my face using the Patrick Powder, um, the one that him and MAC Cosmetics um, collabed with. I do have a tutorial, not tutorial, but like a review on this powder already if y'all want to check that out. Before I wipe away this setting powder, I kind of want to go in and use a little bit of bronzer with this brush just to see if like it works with powders too. I'm going to lightly go over this. I don't know. I'm just like really awkward with these brushes. I don't know what the best way is to apply <laughs> these with. It's just a little weird for me. We're going to use this brush right here, which is a little bit smaller than the contour brush. This is the cheek brush. So let me show you guys a comparison. So that's the contour, and then this is the cheek one. So as you guys can see, it's a little bit smaller. I'm using this ABH Blush Trio. You guys know I love this one. It's in the shade Berry Adore. And I'm just going to take a mixture of all three. Just tap this in here. And then smile. And go right on the cheeks so the key to these brushes is to use like small circles and then like to build up so go in with a small amount of product and then just keep like building and adding for highlighter today I'm gonna be using the Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette. I'm going to be using the shade Seashells. So whichever one has the shade Seashells in it. I don't know if this is the summer one or not. But I really, really like the shade right here. And take this on my eyeshadow brush and put this like in the inner corners of my eyes. And I like to use this little um, brush cleaner thing. It's like a dry brush cleaner. I got it from Ulta. It's from the brand J-Cap Beauty. This thing's only $5 and it's so cute. Like any type of eyeshadow brush or even a face brush you have and you don't want to use the same color, just wipe it on here and it gets rid of it. So I'm just going to take this on here and then go in with this shade and try to get like the inner portion of my eye. Now I'm going to go in to actually highlight my cheeks. So I'm just going to take this brush on here and get all of that like blush color off. And then go in with this shade right here. So I do like the way that it's applying the highlighter. I just feel like I'm having to build it up. With these brushes, powder you have to build up. And then with liquid, you don't have to add as much product. Okay, so like as y'all saw when I had contoured, 
I put way too much and it was just kind of like staying on my face. Same thing with the foundation. And then with highlighter and blush, you have to just keep building it up. So I don't mind that because it's applying it very well. All right, guys, so we have finished my makeup. So um, this is my go-to look. This is like the kind of eyeshadow look I go for whenever I'm just running out the door, whenever I don't know what I want to do with my eyeshadow, but I just feel like being cute, you know? So I always just take this Modern Renaissance palette and take the shade Love Letter and put that all over my lid. So like I said, it's super, super simple, but I saw some questions about it. So I wanted to kind of address it and show y'all like how I achieve that look. But now far as the brushes, I do like them. I think they're cute. Um, personally, I just don't feel like I have the coordination to work with these. Like, I get the whole concept of them creating brushes like this for you to do makeup on yourself as opposed to other brushes which are like, you know, for makeup artists and doing makeup on other people, you know. But I just can't. It just doesn't work for me. Um, this one right here is nice. A little eyeshadow one is super nice. Um, I just feel like sometimes it blended out really good on this side, but then this side, because I'm right-handed, it just was not doing it for me. So I did end up going in with another brush and blending out, like, the top of it. Um, but I did really like this, though, for, like, my inner corner highlight, because y'all know I like that dramatic inner corner highlight. So it was good for that. Um, which one? This face brush right here was super nice. Is it anything spectacular? No, I feel like I could have got the exact same application as my Tarte brush that I always use. So this wasn't anything crazy. The contour brush was probably my least favorite. I like to apply a lot of contour and I feel like this um, did not blend it out that well. Probably if I would have went in with less product, it would have worked better, but I just don't like that look. If I'm gonna contour, I want it to be cut and nice and you know, you can see it. So I don't really like this brush for that. Um, my favorite brush though of the day was definitely this brush right here that's for cheek. So it's for the blush and the highlight. I think it's a really, really nice brush. I love the way it applied my blush. I love the way it applied my highlight. Um, if you wanna try one out, I would recommend this one. This one right here is actually like a real technique brush. I've had this one like forever. This one, I'm pretty sure it's a buffing brush. So I use this for like foundation and highlight and stuff. And this is a really nice brush. So if you are into like Arquise brushes, Real Technique has these. Or if you're in regular brushes, Real Technique has these as well. And they're all pretty much drugstore range. So that's pretty good. But yeah, that is the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if there's any other products you guys want me to try out. I have like a long list of stuff to try out that I'm getting to. <laughs> that is the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe to my channel on your way out, girl. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.